Mademoiselle Alphonse? Oui? I'm Malachi Rector. Perhaps someone from the American consulate told you I'd be getting in touch. Oui, I did receive that message, but I did not realize it would be so soon. How did you find me? Oh, it wasn't so difficult. May I join you? Very well. What can I help you with? about yourself. Me? I have no amusing stories to tell. My life is my family and my family's business. That is all. That doesn't sound like an exciting life for a young woman. Exciting is overrated. Tell me about your mother. There is nothing to tell. She does very well. Thanks to some pond antiques, I take it? Who told you that? I visited your home. I could see for myself. Nothing illegal has been done. I knew the antiques were being sold. I do not wish to discuss it. Tell me about your father. Henri Alphonse is a well-respected man. You can ask anyone in France. How is the state of the Alphonse family business? That is a very personal question. That bad, is it? You're here with Etienne. Yes. The same Etienne who's business partners with your father? Yes. Isn't Etienne a little old for you? Then again, your fiancé, Gerard de Villiers, he was not a young man either, was he? How could that be any possible business of yours, Mr. Rector? Where is Etienne now? He had some business calls to make. He is very dedicated. What is your relationship with Etienne? You can see what kind of place this is. Surely you can guess. I'd like to discuss your family finances. <gasps> How did you get that? Does it matter? The point is, I have it. Uh, everything will be repaid. Every debt my father has, I made sure of it. There is no reason for the police to get involved. Hmm. And how will it be taken care of? Etienne He will cover the debt. And more besides. That's very generous of him. We are to be wed. Naturellement, he would not allow my family to be ruined. Your father ruined the family fortune? That must have been quite a trick. I thought it was an empire. My grandfather made mistakes as well. But my father, he is ill. He has an addiction to gambling. I hope you will not feel the need to make that public. Our name is all I have left. I'm not interested in gossip. So you intend to save the family business by marrying your father's business partner? Etienne is an intelligent and successful man. It works out well for everyone. You're marrying Etienne? Isn't he your father's age? He is 55. It does not matter. Passionate love, it fades. My parents' marriage taught me that. Being married to Etienne will suit me very well. I've heard you have an interest in the Paris catacombs. I am interested in French history. The catacombs are full of it. Have you heard of a 13th century French monk named Benedict de Montfroy? No. Who was this man? I wish I knew. Have you heard of Saint Armand? He was a knight during the Crusades. Supposedly, he's buried in the catacombs. I never heard of him. You should ask a cataphile. A cataphile? People who explore the mines under Paris illegally. It's kind of an urban sport. Interesting. I'll leave you for now, mademoiselle. Goodbye, Mr. Rector. I've learned enough about Caroline to complete my analysis. I'm trying to match 
Caroline to Livia Drusilla. I just need to see if she fits the pattern. Those last few data points have done it. Caroline is not a match for Livia Drusilla. I'll text Dexter and let him know. Looks like we're going to Zurich. But there's one more thing I want to research before I leave Paris. I suppose I could fill Walker in on the investigation. Mr. Walker? Yes, Mr. Rector. About my investigation into Caroline Alphonse. Yeah? Caroline is not the one we're looking for. Dexter wants us to head to Zurich to look at another candidate. I'm ready whenever you are, Mr. Rector. You asked about Senator Mark Amelia. I did. And? Here's what I know. So, Senator Markham is supposed to be Augustus. And if he marries the right woman, he'll become president and save the global economy? If you take the Mobius theory seriously, yes. Or at least, he has that potential. Do you? Trust the Mobius theory? It seems absurd, but my... Let's just say I can't entirely dismiss it. Thank you for telling me. Probably not the smartest thing I've ever done. You told me because you know you can trust me. And you can. I don't trust anyone. Yes, sir. Listen, I appreciate the fact that you've told me more about this mission than you have to. I've taken no oaths of silence. Even so. I'm glad you trust me. At least, that far. You asked about my family earlier. I think I mentioned I have one sister. She's married and lives in Ohio. My parents are alive, but we don't really speak. Haven't since I was in college. Why not? We have opposing views on a few minor things. Like how I should live my life. I don't suppose you really give a rat's ass, but you asked, so that's how it is. Thank you. That's all for now. As you say, sir. Excuse me. Yes? I noticed your tattoo. It's a special design, monsieur. I'm afraid I can't give you the name of the shop. Do you know the catacombs? Go to any tourist office. They can give you a brochure. I don't mean the tourist part of the catacombs. Oh, then I don't know what you mean. Are you a cataphile? You know this word. I said it, didn't I? I'm looking for information. What information is that? Do you know how to find San Alma, the Knight of the Catacombs? The Skeleton? Yes, I know it. Will you tell me? 
Are you offering a reward? You're not with the police, eh? Do I look like a French policeman? No. To find the knight, go down through the manhole cover in the alley near the patisserie on Roumont. You can't miss him. Thank you. Don't strain yourself. Here, let me. <clears throat> You're welcome. I don't suppose you have a source of light. Other than my sunny disposition? No, not on me. Who is that? San Allah, the Knight of the Catacombs. Never heard of him. Neither had I until recently. He was associated with Benedict de Montfroy, a medieval monk who wrote a treatise on the Mobius theory. Huh. Interesting. The skulls and bones on this wall have letters on them. Interesting. That's a crusade shield. This must have something to do with San Amor. of San Amor. That's San Armand. He's the skeleton guy, right? Who was he? Mr. Rector? Ugh. Come on, let's get you back to the hotel.
Are you all right? Yes. Tired. Thank you. You're welcome.